Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. You were seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who willed your Son to submit for our sake to the yoke of the cross, so that you might drive from us the power of the enemy, grant your servants to attain the grace of the resurrection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord God has given me a well-trained tongue, that I might know how to speak to the weary, a word that will rouse them. Morning after morning, he opens my ear that I may hear. And I have not rebelled, have not turned back. I gave my back to those who beat me, my cheeks to those who plucked my beard. My face I did not shield, from the buffets and spitting. The Lord God is my help, therefore I am not disgraced. I have set my face like flint, knowing that I shall not be put to shame. He is near who upholds my right. If anyone wishes to oppose me, let us appear together. Who disputes my right? Let him confront me. See, the Lord God is my help. Who will prove me wrong? The word of the Lord. Our responsorial song. Lord, in your great love, answer me. Lord, in your great love, answer me. For your sake I bear insult, and shame covers my face. I have become an outcast to my brothers, a stranger to my mother's sons, because zeal for your house consumes me, and the insults of those who blaspheme Blasphemy you shall fall upon me. Lord, in your great love, and Insult has broken my heart, and I am weak. I looked for sympathy, but there was none. For consolers, but not one could I find. Rather, they put gall in my food, and in my thirst they gave me vinegar to drink. Lord, in your great love, and I will praise the name of God in song. And I will glorify him with thanksgiving. See you lowly ones and be glad. You who seek God, may your hearts revive. For the Lord hears the poor, and his own who are in bonds he spurns not. Lord, in your great love, Praise to you, word of God, Lord Jesus Christ. Praise to you, word of God, Lord Jesus Christ. Hail to you, our King. You alone are compassionate with our errors. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, 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 Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. One of the twelve who was called Judas Iscariot, went to the chief priests and said, What are you willing to give me if I hand him over to you? They paid him 30 pieces of silver, and from that time on he looked for an opportunity to hand him over. On the first day of the Feast of Unleavened Bread, the disciples approached Jesus and said, Where do you want us to prepare for you to eat the Passover? He said, Go into the city to a certain man and tell him, The teacher says, My appointed time draws near. In your house I shall celebrate the Passover with my disciples. 
The disciples then did as Jesus had ordered and prepared the Passover. When it was evening, he reclined at table with the twelve, and while they were eating, he said, Amen, I say to you, one of you will betray me. Deeply distressed at this, they began to say to him one after another, Surely it is not I, Lord. He said in reply, He who has dipped his hand into the dish with me is the one who will betray me. The Son of Man indeed goes as it is written of him, but woe to that man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. It would be better for that man if he had never been born. Then Judas, his betrayer, said in reply, Surely it is not I, Rabbi. He answered, You have said so. The Gospel of the Lord. Pray to Pray you, Jesus, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. What are you willing to give me if I hand him over to you? This question that Judas proposed to the Sanhedrin, it uh, made me think this morning that, you know, in all honesty, Judas is a heck of a lot smarter than I am. At least he got 30 pieces of silver what do I receive when I betray Jesus through my selfish, sinful choices, my actions? Praise, pleasure, excitement, an adrenaline rush. We have betrayed Jesus for a whole lot less than 30 pieces of silver. Judas is a whole lot smarter than we are. Therefore, let us take stock in the way we treat each other because Christ is present in each other. And let us seek as an Easter gift to God to treat each other with the love, dignity, and the respect that every child of God deserves. And let us recommit ourselves to prayer and to that deepening relationship with our Heavenly Father. Now, mighty God be with you. May He bless you. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Coming together as one family in faith, let us offer to God our prayers and our needs. For the whole Christian people, that in this sacred time, they may be more abundantly nourished by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the whole world, that in lasting tranquility and peace, our days may truly become that acceptable time, grace and salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For sinners and the neglectful, that in this time of reconciliation, they may return to Christ, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for ourselves, that God may stir up in our hearts aversion for our sins, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all those in our community, both here present and those watching on video who are suffering, whether from physical, emotional, or mental illnesses, that they may be comforted by the resurrected Christ, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear my prayer. And for Elaine Morty, for whom this Mass is being offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the prayers that we hold in the silence of our hearts, For all of our intentions spoken and unspoken, join through the intercession of St. Bridget. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, be our prayer. Offering all our prayers to the Father, let us conclude with the prayer of praise and honor of the Blessed Trinity. Glory, Glory be, be to the, the Father, 
and as the Son, and as the Holy Spirit, as, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Through to the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Through to the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, by our religion and of all his holy churches. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings made here, and graciously grant that celebrating your Son's passion and mystery, we may experience the grace of its effects through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. Lift the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For the days of the saving passion and glorious resurrection are approaching, by which the pride of the ancient foe is vanquished in the mystery of our redemption, and Christ is celebrated. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices we pray join with theirs one chorus of exalted praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by putting down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. And at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Save to us, Savior, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Give me thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that the taking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy of us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, we may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, 
our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, and that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. So we await the blessed hope of the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the King, the power, and the glory are yours, now and, and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. But now our sins, but on the faith of your church, you graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, our Lamb, I pray that you should be in our room. But only to the Lord, our Lord, our Lord, our Lord. The Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for me. Let us pray. Endow us, Almighty God, with the firm conviction that through your Son's death and time, to which the revered mysteries bear witness, we may be assured of perpetual life, 
through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. God. Prayer to St. Michael for our families. Holy, Holy Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May and God have you them we only pray. And to you, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the divine power, thrust into hell, Satan and all of your evil spirits who wander through the world, seeking to burn our souls. Amen. The divine praise and protection against arms, hurricanes, and other disasters. Blessed, Blessed be you, God. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus, the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Consoler. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, your Mary most holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be the fullest assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God, his angels, and his saints. 